Good morning everybody from just east of Thunder Bay, Ontario in Canada. I slept right here tonight. We woke up in the exact same spot. I checked, we didn't even move an inch. It's awesome. to go. Old blue is ready. Warmed up. Oil's warm. Water's warm. Lights are on. I have air in all of my tires and it's not leaking. That's fantastic. Everything's doing good. We're gonna put air into the brakes of the trailer. Release those. When I went underneath the trailer in the morning here I saw that the trailer was hooked on. I'm just gonna do a little tug test before I leave just to ensure that uh, my eyes weren't lying to me because you know those lying eyeballs. You gotta make sure, at least I do. I'm paranoid though. I mean, so, I've, I've been told before, you don't need to do a tug test every day. I'm like, no, I don't need to do a tug test every day either. I mean, I, I know, but I do it anyway. <laughs> I don't have to keep it on the road either. I mean, I could put it in the ditch. I just choose not to, you know? I choose to keep it on the road, so I, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I know not everybody does, I know, but I, I check every single morning. That's just my little, uh, that's just my little thing that I do. I would recommend it. I mean, it, it seems like it makes sense, right? Um, I got my coffee right here. Okay, okay. Big shout out to Dave, who came up here in his red gravel truck and said hi to me just before I was about to roll out. I was actually just getting you guys ready to be mounted up on my head here and making sure all my last minute checks were done and he came up and said hi to me. Uh, really nice, really cool when you guys do that. I love, I love meeting you guys. That was awesome. Been watching me for about eight years, you said. So <laughs> I keep forgetting how long I've been doing this. I mean, I say it, like I've been doing this online for what, 11, 12 years. But it doesn't feel that long, you know? It really doesn't feel that long. CB on, channel 19. If you guys ever pass by me on the highway and you wanna say hi while we're rolling, I'm on channel 19 like everyone else. I usually do have my radio on unless if I'm listening to my music and it's a really good song, I'm really into it. Okay, just so I don't, if I don't answer, sorry, probably listen to my music. All right, let's roll forward a couple of feet. This guy beside me has a flat tire on his trailer. He's sleeping right now, but uh, I'm sure he noticed it when he walked around last night. I'll have to get that fixed before he goes. Okay, here we go. We will be home tonight. Approximately, ah, let's say between eight and nine hours from our yard. Just gotta drop this trailer and uh, head off to my shop. And Old Blue's got some plans for the next few weeks. Getting a service job, getting a few other little things done to it getting a detail that's why it's so cold in here I gotta turn the heat on all right I thought he was coming this way all right let's go supposed to be snow in Manitoba falling from the sky terrible terrible that's no way to welcome me home they were supposed to get 30 centimeters this week like not all at once but 30 centimeters this week that's a that's a foot a foot of snow I'm done with this stuff you know can't wait for it all to melt
Yeah, I'm definitely feeling how heavy I am. I'm actually, uh, I'd be too heavy to drive in the US on their highways. In Canada here, I'm legal still, but I'm, I'm pretty much up to my max. So I can, I can tell Old Blue's been working to pull this thing. Plus it's a van trailer, right? So my, I got a very low roof. This truck is built for hauling open deck. But it'll pull a van, no problem. It's just, it's like I got a big parachute behind me, right? So, got all that weight pulling up the hills plus a parachute. She's been a little thirsty, let's say. It's been a little bit of a thirsty ride home. Dryden, Ontario. I still can't believe you got rid of the truck parking at Walmart. That hurt my feelings, man. What if I want to go to Walmart? I'm just kidding. It was a little bit of a cluster mess, kerfuffle in the truck parking there. I mean, you had to be careful. I guess they got tired of it. I don't know why. Sometimes it kind of bugs me when those big box stores don't want trucks nearby them. Like, I, I can understand, like, don't get me wrong. Sometimes you don't want heavy trucks on your expensive asphalt. But, uh, you know, I don't see it as a, a good business plan to limit the amount of customers you can take money from, you know, in exchange for goods and services. You want to expand it as much as possible. And truckers got to eat too, you know? We got to shop too. But, whatever, c'est la vie. We are about three and a half hours away from where I'm going to drop this trailer at our Manitoba terminal. And that's it. From there, I bobtail to my shop and take it from there. Just 350 more kilometers. We are just about there. I'm not going to fuel up my tanks. Uh, my fuel is probably going to be pretty low when I park it in my shop. I don't want to have that big fuel bill uh, right before I have some time off. So I'll fill it up when I get back on the road. Unless it gets too low. I mean, I don't want to park it on E, but. My load is also very heavy and I'm trying to keep my fuel below about two thirds. 
just for weight reasons. I've been eating a few too many donuts, so I gotta watch how much fuel I put in my tank. That's how close we are to the legal limit. Sometimes I wonder, you know, these logs, they've got straps going over them, right, obviously? But there's a lot in the middle that have no load securement touching them. Now, as a flat better myself, that would freak me out. It freaks me out a little bit going behind them. I've never seen one, like, vibrate and fall out the end. But, you know, if you hit a big enough bump, it could easily happen. Like those logs in the middle there, those smaller ones, they're, the strap's not even touching them. But I guess the weight of the other ones, they're sort of pinned together. So they're sort of pinned in there, I get it, but... Huh. A little too risky for me, but... Maybe that's all you can do, right? I've never hauled logs like that. I've hauled, uh, like, poles. Like, telephone poles and stuff. And sometimes it's the same thing. The straps don't only hold the load down, it pins it all together, squishes everything together, right? And then the outside poles are squishing against the inside ones, and the friction of that is holding it in place, sort of pinning everything together, even if the strap doesn't touch it. It's probably the same idea. He is definitely being paid by the hour, though. I'll tell you that. I've been following him for a while on the way up to Dryden here. He is definitely paid by the hour. No rush in his mind. I'd like to get by him, but I'm pretty heavy myself. So whenever there's a passing lane, uh, it's a little difficult to try and pass people. Because they usually have the passing lanes on the uphill, right? And then I lose all my momentum. But you see, if we would have been doing the speed limit at this point already, we wouldn't have been losing so much momentum now. Come on, man.
for a while. For several weeks. So here we go. Set this trailer down nicely. Air out of my suspension. Got a nice little. You never want to drop the landing gear down or like drop the trailer down on the landing gear or anything. You always want to release your airbags and slowly you know, set the trailer down nicely, nice and gentle. Let's go home. We're getting all our stuff out and this is going to be my project for the next couple of days this is why i uh parked the truck a little earlier than what than when we're expecting our son to arrive so uh, i have time to clean this all up get this all thrown in the garbage organize this all make it look like an actual neat shop get my little editing area here actually properly set up get the bull snot bar uncluttered so that looks a bit better. And that's all our stuff from at home. I mean, that's pretty well as organized as it's gonna get. Maybe I can build like something to hide it. Well, I'll just leave it, that's fine. But I do have lots of projects in here for the next couple of weeks. So I'll be at home and I'll be in here. So there's gonna be a whole variety of different content coming now on my channel for the next month or so. We will be back in the truck the latest in May, so it'll be a few weeks. So stick around, there will be some fun content coming in the future before we get back in the truck. I'm also planning on going into the city to get a new camera, or at least look at a new camera. I've had my eye on one. I hope they have one in stock. It's different because I've been using GoPro cameras and I usually always use GoPro cameras because they're easy to use. You can fit them in your pocket. You can strap them to your head. You can strap them to the dash. Always hands-free. You can like mount them outside the truck. It's very handy and stuff, right? But I have something else in mind. I want to wait to show you.